Hello everyone. Today we have the following uh, math problem. We have 5 plus 10 divided by 5 plus 2 in parentheses multiplied by 1 over 10. So this math problem again is a good example of how to use correctly the order of operation which is PEMDAS. Where P in this stands for parentheses and it must be done in the first place. Then we have E which stands for exponents but here we don't have it. If we had, it must be done in the second place. Then we get multiplication and division. When we have multiplication and division, we need to do it in the third place after parentheses and exponents. But what's important, it must be done from left to right. So in this case, we see we have division, we have multiplication. In this case, we will do first the division and then multiplication from left to right. And last, we have addition and subtraction. So we can see here we have addition, therefore, we will do it in the fourth place. Okay, this said, we can go and uh, solve the equation. So as we said, we do first what's inside the parentheses. So we have five, five plus two equals to seven. So we have five plus. Also, this can be written as uh, a fraction. So if we have a divided by b, we can write it as a over b. So this set here, we can put 10 upper. We have 10 over 5 plus 2 is 7 multiply by 1 over 10. Yeah, let's put it like this so we don't forget. So here what we have. Now we must do the multiplication. Uh, we leave it as it is. I mean, 10 because 10 divided by seven, it's not, uh, let's say, it's not a fixed number, yeah? So, but by having multiplied by 10, we can see that uh, we can then simplify by 10. So basically this can be written in this way. So we have, 10 multiplied by 1 over 7 multiplied by 10. Therefore, we can simplify 10 with 10 because simplifying means 10 divided by 10, which equals to 1. And then the answer, the, the result to this is 5 plus 1 over 7. Here we have 5 plus 1, but here the denominator should be also 7. Therefore, we multiply by 7, so we get same denominator. So the denominator is seven. Here we have five multiplied by, uh, uh, seven multiplied by five is 35 plus one. Means that the result is 36 over seven, correct? Which equals to five, one over seven. Okay, so you can notice here because here we could just put it together because it's fifth and one and a seven. This also equals to five, uh, five and one over seven. I just wanted to explain to you like how we get to this, correct? Because maybe uh, here this would be would have been a divisible uh, number. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Ciao, ciao.